had a little patch of sky over me. Silver clouds go rolling by over me. Could be rain and it could be dry over me. I got a little patch of sky. How I love to watch that sky over me. Spy daydream with a sigh happily. Don't look up to wonder why should it be. A little patch of sky. I ain't got a trust fund to my name. I never learned to play their money game. I don't think twice about the price. Just give out a generous slice of some heavenly smiles. Walk in these earthy miles. Thanks, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in at the uh, Live at Studio, I think they call this, in this beautiful set, this wonderful black box theater. My name's Larry Moranti, and uh, this here is my friend Hans York, uh, an amazing uh, guitar player, producer. He produced my, my last two CDs. I have four CDs that I put out over the years, and, uh, and Hans produced the last two. He's a multi-instrumentalist and just moved here recently from uh, Dallas, Texas. And uh, he was um, living up here for a little while and then he moved away uh, down to Dallas. And, and he's back to the Northwest because it's a beautiful place. And, um, and I'm glad he's here. I do, uh, I'm going to do a lot of songs from my last two CDs, my third and fourth one, Point of Entry and and Patch of Sky, and uh, I reverted back to my childhood um, quite a bit on those two albums, and this is one of the songs uh, where that happened. Uh, this is a song about a mechanic that was in the small town of Nazareth, Pennsylvania, where I grew up, and um, Billy was his name, and he was, he was the master mechanic within 100 miles of that little town. And my older brothers are, are pretty good mechanics, and uh, as they were coming up in the mechanic world, uh, they would run into problems, and they'd, they'd always call Billy, and he'd come and troubleshoot their mechanic issues, and there's a song about that. It's called More Than He Knows.
Well, Sergeant was a backyard mechanic. Three or more people in the same room made him panic. There wasn't a car he couldn't fix. Eight or four cylinders, straight or slant six. German made, British, Japanese, just take your pick. He was a full tech school scholar. After high school, went to college. He flunked out, joined the army in a snit. But he served this country well in that Southeast Asian hell. Brought back a bum knee with a big old piece of Ho Chi Minh trapped now. And he carries it with him. Wherever he goes, carries it with him more than he knows. Well, his father died in 75, same year the war ended. From a failed heart, they say Sergeant never knew. But he missed him all the same. One day when his own heart gave way on a bar stool at the Bath Hotel, he grabbed his chest, saw his old man's face, and he carries it with him wherever he near the clouds, high above a canyon, a retail hawk floating on a thermal wind, and then diving down, diving Doctors intervened and postponed his next reincarnation. After a couple of weeks, he's on his back underneath a Chevy sedan. And he looks up past the firewall, through the manifolds and the vacuum lines, and saw a little blue patch of sky. And it made him smile. And a tear was so damn glad to be alive, and he carries it with him wherever he goes, carries it with him more than he knows, carries it with him wherever he Thanks. All right. Well, um, on that same theme of cars, uh, this next song is about my father who loved to buy and sell cars. So as I was growing up, and my two older brothers, um, there was a lot of cars that passed through the family. And a few years back, I got together with my, my brothers, and we tried to remember 
some of the cars and came up with a long list of 30, 40 cars that passed through the family. And he, you know, he wouldn't have them. He'd get them one at a time, and uh, they wouldn't stay around for very long. And you wouldn't know when the next one was going to show up until he came down the driveway with it. And it's called Story of the Sale. Well, my father owned a lot of cars, though not all in a bunch. He'd score them one at a time when he saw a buy, he'd have a hug. Could have been worse, they could have been women, but he was a faithful man. Mom always tied a fake flower around the rearview mirror, but she never did understand. When a loose, he loved to give and take, he loved to deal and tell the tale. When a loose, it's like he negotiates. The story of the same. Well, there were Dotsons, Fords, and Chevy pickup trucks, and El Camino that rusted away. And we laughed so hard when he drove the three wheel BMW right down the middle of our driveway. It had that one big. Stuck an AC Delco spark plug sticker on that old Chevy truck glove box door. And it made our day when he said that he might leave it there. Cause he never did that before. The cigarette hot car for a cool cat. And on loose, he loved the give and take. He loved to deal. I'd like to thank Vashon Live for uh, putting these shows together. It's an all-volunteer effort, and uh, it's very lovely that they're, that they're doing this. For us out-of-work musicians. A few years back, um, 
I was part of a compilation project that Christine Lavin, uh, a uh, songwriter out of New York, it's been a kind of an icon in the folk community for many years, has probably about 20 albums out. And, and she did a series of these uh, winter compilations, wintertime compilations, and they weren't just holiday compilations. They were a lot of times about uh, just just wintertime. And, um, and she, uh, I was honored to be a part of uh, one of the volumes called Just One Angel, Volume One. And there is a Just One Angel, Volume Two. Um, and lots of prestigious uh, folk singers and uh, have been on these projects over the years. Uh, Janicean, uh, James Taylor, uh, a local band, Uncle Bonsai, uh, is on the one that I'm on. Just One Angel, Volume One. Check it out. So uh, I wrote this song for, uh, she needed a, a solstice song, so I wrote this uh, song about the winter solstice. It's called Ready for the Dark. I love it when grass gets so frozen, breaks like glass beneath your feet. When clouds are so high in the sky, the air is clear as it can be. When your lips are wet and warm as summer, sets a fire in my heart. We're coming up on winter solstice, honey, are you ready for, ready for the dark? Ready for the dark in the cold, cold night, put another log on the heart. Days are short and nights are longer. You gotta get ready for the dark. The winter makes me pull you in much closer. Tell you about the things been on my mind. How your touch always brings me comfort. For you, I'll lay it on the line. Lay it on the line like a loyal soldier. Up on the wall, they're standing guard. It's a wild night, nature's wielding, honey. Are you ready for it? Ready for the dark, ready for the dark, the cold, cold night, put another log on the hearth. When days are short and nights are longer, you gotta get ready for the dark. Oh, when the sun starts hugging the horizon, oh, honey, that's my cue, I'll hug a little more. And as each day goes by, you and I make more light shine through. A little more light each day, all the way to June. a time for cold reflection for giving thanks to the ones we love to look inside from all direction i look at you and all i think of is how i'm gonna wrap my arms around you watch this fire spit and spark on this quiet cold december evening i'm so ready for the dark ready for the dark
Thank you very much. Thanks. All right. Well, I read an essay uh, a little while ago. This is a song I haven't recorded yet. Um, the essay was called uh, We Were Made for These Times, and it was by um, Clarissa Pinkola Estes. Uh, look it up. It's a really great essay. And it inspired this song. It's called Made for This. Take you away Lady Liberty We've led you astray While we sat on our hands We drifted away The money took over Now we all pay And pay But this ship isn't sinking Its timbers are strong The crew is divided Lines have been drawn While we point other and we bicker and fight the ones with the money play with our rights oh brother take my hand and pray hey sister children, the elderly and poor, the unguarded and the helpless, not another needless war, and these endless obfuscations, the alternate truth, the lies and fabrications, the absence of proof. much. Clarissa Pinkola Estes. This is a beautiful space here. It's called uh, the uh, o o Open Space Community Center, and there's a bunch of things going on, um, but uh, we're in the black box section, and uh, I've never been into this part of the island. I've spent some time here before. And um, so a lovely, lovely place and uh, great that the community has it. Did I, did I mention uh, there's a, a tip link that you can hit? I don't know if it's a link, but you have to go there. Venmo, 
and PayPal. And I've heard that people are having some issues with PayPal for various reasons. So go to Venmo and, uh, and tip us lot, lots of money because we're not working right now. <laughs> Well, I'm working. I'm doing a lot of gar garden work, um, but uh, my wife doesn't pay me for that. I'm going to uh, revert back to my childhood again for a moment. Um, I use a lot of a lot of tunings and partial capos and things like that, and uh, so the guitar goes out of tune um, pretty easily. And um, I don't have a guitar tech because I'm not working, and uh, so I have to do it all myself. So thanks for being so patient. Well, this is a song about my neighbors when I was a kid growing up. Their names were Lydy and Mabel. They were Pennsylvania Dutch, and they, they had these really strong German accents. They were much older than my folks, who were in their mid-30s. And I have two older brothers. And the week I was born, they brought me home to this new house. And it just so happened that Lydy and Mabel moved in the very same week. But their house was brand new, and their driveway wasn't finished. It was all mud. So Lydy had the order some stone, and a big truck came and dumped this huge pile of stone in the middle of the driveway. And it just so happened that my dad had bought a shovel that morning. And he said to my mom, he said, Lara, I think I'm going to go over there and help old Lighty spread some stone around, you know, get to know him a little better, do the neighborly thing. And this song is about the progression of our relationship with Lighty and Mabel from that day forward. It started with a shovel, I guess, on a bright autumn day, when Dad helped Lighty spread stone in his driveway. We had just moved in, and in the most neighborly way, he helped Lighty spread stone in his driveway. His wife, Mabel, declared that it was more than an heir when Dad took a shovel home with him. She said it was hers. He said it was his. That's where the property line war begins. Property line. She'd say what's yours will be mine. If it ends up on my side of the property line. She'd say stay on your own 50 feet. Don't cross the property line. Lighty worked the afternoon, 3 to 11. He'd pull out at 245. 251 in the rain or hot sun, Mabel would walk the line. Dragging her toy wagon, it was a red radio flyer with white rocks piled up to the brim. She'd lay each one down on the line. And then at 10.59, she'd pick them all up again from the property line. She'd say, what's yours will be mine. It ends up on my side of the property line. She'd say, stay on your own 50 feet. Stay on your own 50 feet. Don't cross the property line. And Mabel had a broomstick with a nail sticking out of the end. It was like a fairy tale the Grimm's or Aesop might write. Yeah, she'd flail it about if you got close to the edge. Thank God her growl was so much bigger than her bite. But there were baseballs and kickballs 
dolls and soccer balls and toys that often disappeared in the night. And the next day she'd fire up her burn barrel, make sure we were home. And then she'd burn our toys one at a time across the property line. She'd say, what's yours will be mine if it ends up on my side of the property line. She'd say, stay on your own. Lydie would come over for coffee. We'd all pretend things were normal and fine. While Mabel would peek through her Venetian blinds, watching Lydie on their side of the property line. And she'd say, stay on your own. story, nothing made up, no poetic license needed. Well, um, I uh, wrote a couple of songs with a, a, a woman who, uh, a good friend of mine who used to live here on Bastion, her name is Robin Landis, and uh, she's since well, a long time ago moved to Tucson, but while she was still living here, uh, I would take the ferry over and we'd write music together. And this was the first song we wrote together. And it's called Dry Rain, Calm Wind. I'm going to get some water. Everybody doing all right out there? <laughs> The crew is just great here, but they're very quiet, quiet people. Well, I can't believe in you. You're not even real You're the one who taught me Not to feel I should run the other way As far as I can get No, I haven't yet There is beauty Just not in your vocabulary. There are things that I should say. My friends are placing bets. No, I haven't yet. Our love is like a shadow. Just around. It's like a dry rain and a calm wind. There was a time it didn't last. There were a thousand points we never passed. I've known you forever. It's like we never met No, we haven't yet Our love is like a secret You cannot tell a friend It's like a dry rain 
Something you don't get. No, you haven't yet. You take the love I give you. Well, there's something I don't get. No, I haven't yet. Our love is like a shadow. Just a A secret you cannot tell a friend, like a letter you never think to send. It's like a dry rain and a calm wind. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks. Well, I have a, a website, as does Hans. Mine's my name, LarryMaranti.com. And uh, Hans's is HansYork.com. And uh, yeah, go uh, check him out. Uh, Hans has a, a whole bunch of albums that he's made over the years, and uh, I have a few myself, and uh, you can buy them right off the website, or you can go to um, lots of places, Spotify, um, Napster, iTunes. We're nationwide. So uh, this next song is inspired by a book that I read by a fellow by the name of Thomas Moore. He's kind of a, uh, a soul expert, and he's, ri he's written a couple of um, best-selling books back in the mid-'90s, uh, a couple of them, uh, Care of the Soul and Soulmates. Great books. Look them up. Uh, this song was inspired uh, by another book that he wrote called The Original Self, and there was a, a chapter in there where he talked about letting your defenses down so... The universe can give back to you, and uh, and you can do that as an individual or a community or a nation. And he called it a point of entry. And this is a title song from my uh, third CD. And when I recorded it, it was in perfect tune. So I want to try to recreate that today if I can. Drop C uh, on the E string and a raise B string to C for all you guitar players out there. Well, 
Life is what happens to you While you're waiting for your dreams to come true You can have a world of desperation and resentment You can find the love of your life And live in peace and contentment If you give the world outside a point of entry Give back to you If you give the world outside a point of entry It'll give back to you That's why I keep the gates to my heart open Cause you never know where love might be I'll leave a crack in my defenses And let the unexpected carry me When I find you With your mind on the prize But your head's looking down at your feet Say, put on those rose-colored glasses of yours And let's go see what we can see Cause there's a part of your soul out there in the distance And there's only one way to find its truth You gotta give the world outside a point of entry It'll give back to you You gotta give the world outside a point of entry It'll give back to you crack in my defenses and let the unexpected carry me Child's gonna make you laugh. Well, the mortal enemy is gonna lay down her weapons and pursue a different path. When the politician is gonna finally do the right thing and practice what she preached, the strange lover is gonna offer second chances for the God that's gonna make you weep. If you get the world outside, point of entry, it'll give back to you. If you get the world outside a point of entry, it'll give back to you. That's why I keep the gates to my heart open, you never know where love might be. I'll leave a crack in my defenses and let the unexpected carry me. to my heart open as you never know where love might be I'll leave a crack in my defenses and let the unexpected carry It's a lot of yelling in that one. <clears throat> All right. This is so fun. So I mentioned uh, Robin Landis early, er, and uh, this is another song we wrote together. And um, this song won the John Lennon Songwriting Contest back in 2009. 
there were 6,000 applicants around uh, the country, uh, around the world, actually. And, uh, and we won in the folk division. Little old us from West Seattle and Vashon Island. Imagine that. And it's about a, a fella that um, Robin met during a homestay when, you, when us musicians um, uh, play festivals out of town. A lot of times the festivals have people, the uh, volunteers that put you up, and you never know who you're going to end up with. And she had this impression of this fella. His name was Paul, and, um, and she was totally wrong about him. So we wrote a song about it, and it's called Paul's Song. his arms wide open to the ones coming home all those battered young women and men how could he raise old glory like it was his friend why would he ever salute again he didn't look away he didn't look away he just took the Looks like we have time for one more song. Thank you so much for, for tuning in. And uh, thanks again to Vashon Live for putting this all together and all the volunteers here tonight. Um, 
This is quite an honor for us to be here. Uh, thank you, Hans, for, for standing in, helping, helping me. Not standing in, but whatever you're doing over there with that guitar. And um, yeah, and everybody have a, a wonderful Thanksgiving. I know it's going to be different this year, but uh, uh, we're going to do our best. And uh, did I mention uh, the, the tip tip jar, the virtual tip jar? Venmo and PayPal, it's on your, um, it's on the screen somewhere, I don't know. Somewhere on the screen. It's, it's hard to talk and tune at the same time. I have enough trouble walking and talking at the same time. All right. I was watching a, uh, or listening to an NPR interview with Tavis Smiley when he was on the air a few years back. And he was interviewing Carlos Santana, and I was cleaning the house. And um, I was listening to this interview while I was cleaning, and I had to keep stopping to write down little phrases that they were saying in the interview. And I ended up writing this song. It's called The Hungry Ghost. And The Hungry Ghost is a Zen term for, um, for uh, feeding your ego or needing attention. And uh, this was also, when I recorded it, perfect tune. So th thanks again, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. And um, I, I think this is all going to... Uh, this is going to be online for eternity. So if you if you haven't caught it tonight, or you want to turn it on to somebody else that wasn't here tonight, um, I'm sure it'll be on the live uh, Vashon Live Facebook page. They just started doing uh, these concerts, and um, they're a raving success. After tonight, I'm not really sure, but. Uh, up until now, it's been pretty good, and um, and they encourage you to go to their videos and and watch the old, the old ones. Um, and I, I think there's quite a few right now, isn't there? And they're all very uh, amazing people too. Everybody's who they are. Everybody's what they are. Everybody is who they are. Because somebody loves them. Everybody gotta live their truth. They need someone who holds a proof. Everybody gotta live their truth, but they need someone who knows it. dreams it's not as difficult as it seems everybody gotta live their dreams you gotta find the fears that bind you everybody got a hungry ghost that makes us want to be like the most we gotta stop feeding that hungry ghost because praise ain't gonna save us everyone's got a forgotten song Forgotten song. You gotta sing out to the ones who love you. Everybody is who they are. 
Everybody is what they are. Everybody is who they are. Because somebody loves them. Because somebody loves them. Because somebody loves them. Thanks, thanks everybody. Thank you so much. Happy holidays. Thank you.